Mavis! Mavis! This is bloody showing us the same bloody video again! Two for the price of bloody one! Ooh, have you subscribed? <laughs> what the bloody hell subscribe all about? He's on YouTube, he's a bloody millionaire! Of course he is! Oh, well, I'll get a lot of money on YouTube, you know! <laughs> you bloody bloody doesn't mean you will, woman! Well, I'm going to subscribe and give him a filthy thumbs! <laughs> you bloody do anything for that blow, you will, Mavis! Oh, we're away at last! Yeah, we are! We're away! This is that temporary repair that they've done. It's done a good job. But that beam snap cut it off. Pretty simple and effective. dark this is non-stop rain it just rains and rain it rained all yesterday all to the, all last night and now it's still raining i don't know how, how does the sky hold so much water billions of tons of it it's amazing isn't it this is the uh, hard part about uh about the winters it's just wet muddy again that way that way down there, the Thames is flooded. That way down there, the Chilwell's flooded. So I'm trapped in this little area. No signal. It's very dark, it's wet, it's very muddy. It's gone from being beautiful to this really quickly. So just, this is the hard, this is the hard bit, you know, when it's dark and wet. I can't do anything, I can't go anywhere, do anything. I'm just going to go to the hardware store get some kindling. That's what a candy rip is. How miserable it really is. That is annoying. That is annoying. Well, what? You bend down, pick your crap up, and then you throw it back on the floor. What's the point? Just leave it. What is the point? God. Bend down, pick your rubby crap dog poo up. Oh, and you don't, then you throw it back on the floor again. What the weird man? Kiddington, though, surprisingly, has got a very nice little compact shopping area that you can browse around. Uh, lots of little uh, charity shops that you can pop into. They seem to be more prevalent than normal shops now, don't they? Charity shops. You notice the price has gone up as well in charity shops. My goal of this journey is I'm looking for a hardware store. I'm sure there's one in this area somewhere. I'm actually looking for an ash bucket for my boat. So I can put my ash in it, my hot, hot ash, you know? Hot ash. I've got a bucket for my ash. I've been looking for one of those for ages. Tenner in the hardware store. No kindling. There's no kindling in Kidlington. I think it'd be the home of kindling, wouldn't you? Kidlington, Kindlington. Kidlington. Until the Enclosure Act of 1818, the southern part of the parish consisted of a large area of common land, and the village was known as Kidlington on the Green. Many of the older houses faced onto the green. Do not cross rip it. See why? YouTuber here, I don't know his name, he's got, I wanted to talk to him, I haven't seen him yet, I just noticed him in the charity shop, I didn't say anything at the time, to 
case it wasn't, but now I realise it was. I actually come back to his boat. Uh, look at his channel name, bloody hell. Nice bloke though. Dead tight these little old woody bridges used to be. Dead tight. Center line, get your front line on, get your back line on, and get your hose out and everything. It's uh, take your time, you know. But the front end's sticking out a bit, but I've, I'll manage, you know. If I turn the engine off, let's go and get the hose and let's get set up and get some water in the boat, shall we? A little bit sticky outy. Let's get water in it. I don't know. I can't use it though. I ain't got, I got a fixture for that. Damn it. On to the next one then. That's no good. Last time I come here it was alright. That's annoying now. You get all moored up. All your ropes tied off. You jump off, pull your boat in. Get all your hoses out. Go to the tap. Ugh. Hello mates, look at these! Hello mates! That's some serious steel there though. I think that is. Bloody hell. That is some serious steel. Pigeons like it, don't they? He's a fat in that one, he loves it. Mm, it's like you're entering Throp now. T-H-R-U-P-P, Throp. I think it's moorings here. There we are. 
now. Jules Fuels, he's overloaded there, isn't he? Five bags, two bags of kindling, 103 quid. Bumps, bum shaka. There he is. <laughs> look how much how loaded he is, look. Wow. Really nice bloke as well, really nice bloke. There he is, Jules Fuels. 25 kilogram bags, £18.50. Really bargain. Always, always buy from the locals if you can. Always buy from the locals. There he is, counting his, counting his wadge lot. I can't see him making loads, but you know, he's made a few quid. They manage, don't they? Little bits and bobs on there, look what you need. Hopefully I'll see you again then, all right? I know, you're pretty loaded, aren't you? Don't worry, everyone wants the stuff at the back of the boat. What's, what's at the front? Gas and stuff? Yeah, gas up there, there's some more coal down there. You are a little pretty, no, it's weird. Logs, kindling, all that. Get your number on. It's weird seeing a, um, a narrow boat with a front end down. Isn't it? Yeah, there's not ideal, but what's your room? What's your room route? Yeah, what's your 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 route? Yeah, Okay, buddy. See you again. Oh, that's perfect. I just, uh, I just saw somebody faffing around with the boat in front, and I thought, who's that? You know, curtain twitched as you do, and I thought, who's that? It was the coal guy. I thought, oh, I'll get some coal while I'm here. Look at that lot stacked up to the. I had any kindling today? I looked everywhere around Kidlington. I couldn't get any kindling. Now I've got some. Kidlington kindling. Beautiful rippers. This is a this is a wonderful little area. Just up from where I'm moored. I don't know why it's called this area. Some kind of fish there. There's a lovely little area. We've got Annie's tea rooms here. Electric, electric bridge. <laughs> got parking just down there. Seven day moorings just here. Look, look how nice they are. Facilities, pump out water. Beautiful rippers. That's uh, these moorings here. Look, seven days. Coming down later, rippers. I'm going to bring the boat down tomorrow. Stay here for a few days. Put you up there. Oh, I'm stuck in between. I'm stuck in between Limbo Land at the moment because Leon's not coming back for another few days. So I've just got to hang around and do do nothing. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to the golf driving range and just get some exercise in. I just feel cla claustrophobic sometimes. I feel. I can't move freely in the boat. I know it's a thin, narrow metal tube, and I know that. I need to be able to move your body about a bit more vigorously than I do in a boat. You know, if you always, you're always turning that way, walking. You walk down the aisles that way. You never, you never really spread yourself out in the boat. So I'm going to go to driving range, spend a fiver on like 50 balls or something, and just get some exercise, just get some practice, just do something. You know. There we are. Kidlington, is it Kidlington Golf Club? I think it's Kidlington. Yeah, I'm going to whack a few balls, rippers. Oh, sounds painful, doesn't it, eh? Hope it ain't. <laughs> that was a good bit of exercise, you know what I mean? It's just hurt my shoulder though. Oh, 50 balls. I couldn't film it because I. There's loads of people in there and it was. And I didn't have a tripod with me, so I couldn't really put the camera anywhere, you know? So. Good bit of exercise, 40 minutes of. Just hitting balls, getting your range, getting your which we hitting the ball. Hopefully, getting the accuracy. It wasn't very good today. It wasn't very good. I was hitting my seven nine hundred and thirty yards, maybe 150, 160. I'm losing my strength as I get older. I'm losing a lot of my power and strength. Just feel it. You know what I mean? I try to avoid it. I try to exercise and keep myself my strength up, keep my fitness up. It's inevitable, isn't it? Inevitable. Your body just packs up. It's like a, 
It's like a lot of the equipment nowadays, you know, it's got shelf life. Same with the human body. It's got 100,000 mile in it and it's, and it's gone, it's finished. And the last, the last 10,000 mile is, you might, as, you might as not bother. Do you know what I mean? And the first, the first 10, 20,000 miles, you're at school anyway, so forget that. So that's 30,000 miles out of your body. And then, in your thir 20s and 40s, you're having kids, aren't you? So that's another 20,000 miles out of your body. You might get 10,000 miles to yourself, cr solo cruising in your own body. How much is it? When you, when you boil it down, it's not much out of a whole existence. You only get about 10,000 miles out of your body. It's like buying a car and it's like buying a car and just having ten thousand miles to yourself in it. Uh, sort of analogy. And the rest of it's everybody else is using it. You know what I mean? You're working for somebody else. You're running around for somebody else. You're raising kids. You're having a relationship. Blah blah blah. Very very rare. You get some time to yourself in your life in the whole of your life. Just to think about just to think about life. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm off rippers. Just going to have a look at the uh, River Cherwell. It's about one and a half miles from my from my boat. I thought I'd nip down and have a quick look. It's not really. I tried to type in Cherwell on the uh, stoppages, but I can't seem to find the River Cherwell. So I'm going to go down physically with my own eyes and uh, look at the river and assess the uh, danger of it in my own mind. You know. Right, with this. This is where the canal ends and it goes onto the river. Let's have a quick look at the river. Oh, it's on red boards, look. Oh, look at the sign. Rippers. This is that weird diamond shaped lot where you get a couple of boats in here waiting. What we on them, this board here then? Looks alright, doesn't it, eh? Not flowing much. Oh, it's on yellow. It's on yellow, Rippers. Hope you can hear me. It's on yellow. That's all right. It's a little bit of a stream, look. Isn't there? A little bit of a flow on. Oh. Pop magic getting a bit harder up on the tight bits. It's on yellows. That's fine. Hey. Yeah, navigate that. It's only a short journey. Right then, Rippers. Right then, eh? It's flashing on yellows. Can you see that? Flash. Ah, That's the name of the flashy board. Da, 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 di, 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 di. Flash. Shipton Willock. I'm coming through ya. A funny lot this in it. You could have a boat there, I suppose, a boat in the middle and a boat there waiting, couldn't you? Three of them. Interesting, isn't it? The trouble is when you try and moor up with 50 sub at four, you've got back end here, front end hanging out there somewhere. It's not easy, Rippers. I'm going that side then. I'll be too short for that side I reckon as well. I'll go in the middle, I'm supposed to get off then. I'll get off at the back. Oh, yeah, I could do. All right, good advice. That's slippy in winter, isn't it? And that's like a skate skate park there in winter. That bit, isn't it? I bet. Hey, Rippers. We can proceed then. I was worried about being on red boards, getting all the way down here. Right, one and a half mile walk back. Come on, you not do it. I'm going to watch you on TV. What do you mean you can't do it? I've got to do. It. Oh, cut. Oh. I've got to do it. I've got to do the walk. What? Oh. Right, I'll do the walk. You lot. I'll put the kettle on for me. Uh, no sugars now. I've stopped the sugars. I've cut down right down on my sugars. I'm urinating about five times a night. Dry mouth. And my mate, my mate Rob, he's just been diagnosed with diabetes. Same symptoms. So I'm cutting down all my sugar, including mashed potatoes and stuff like that with high starch glucose content when your body transforms into glucose so I'm sticking to vegetables and uh, rice now 
maybe not even that, just go on to, back onto Quito, I think. I'll tell you what, I've been on, I've been having a cooked breakfast past two days, and I've been um, having no sugar for two days, and I'll tell you what, I've slept better, and I went to toilet about twice last night, so it's somewhat in it there, isn't there? Somewhat going off there. Keep getting glucose spikes, the insulin, produce insulin, body doesn't like it to get dry mouth. I thought it was better today, it's weird, I've got energy. I usually have potatoes every night almost, you know. And I'm flying it around today, it's weird. Perhaps it is that then. Perhaps it is all the pasta and all the, because uh, your body transforms all those carbs into sugars, doesn't it? Glucose. Perhaps it is all that then. Uh, then you bake biscuits on top, sugars in your tea, you don't realise, do you? How many teaspoons of sugar have you? Probably 100 teaspoons of sugar a day. Wow. Ah, I feel better now anyway. I want to do it at the moment. I'll wait till I get back, Rip. The wind's got up now, it's a bit nippy. Fire's on. Let's get back and get a cup of tea, Rips. Another thing I've, I've observed as well. <laughs> it's me again. Another thing I've observed as well while um, I used to go out for walks. Uh, just out for a walk and look at the scenery. But now I find I'm going out for a walk with the podcast on. And then. Is it too windy? Not only that, I'm going out for a walk. The headphones on, podcast on, music on, look scrolling through while I'm walking, doing all this stuff at once. It's just never used to do all that. YouTube, flick through YouTube. I don't I don't go on TikTok. I'm not on Facebook either, so I apologize. Oh it's windy! Wind's died a bit now. Do you know what I mean? I'm sort of walking along, I'm not just filming. Eh. I'm uh, listening to podcasts and all sorts now, music, podcasts, everything. Uh, I stopped doing Facebook because I've gone Facebook. I get messages at half 10, 11 at night. The boat's broken down. Do you know what's wrong with it? <laughs> I'm just a vlogger. I'm not even a mechanic. I'm a boat mechanic. Just savvy. You just got to be. It's got to be a bit savvy. If it's already broke, you can't get any worse, can it? Have a go at fixing it, or Google it, YouTube it. There's always somebody that's done, got the same problem. If you've got a boat problem, if you're not a savvy with spanners, stuff like that, Google it, take your time. Also, we'll take one thing off. And if you're not sure, have a look at it, work out what it does, then go on to the next thing and just figure it out for yourself, you know? That's that's why I do it. Also, I don't want to pay mechanics fees here. I call out charge, what's that? 80 quid or something? I fixed all my own problems, I fixed everybody else's boats. Just a bit of common sense and Googling. Because that's why I stopped making my own videos because I couldn't find the information I needed so I thought I'm going to do this and film it and put it out there for everybody else to use, you know? Free of charge rippers. I don't mind buying you a coffee though. <laughs> right, I'm off now. That's a bit dodgy there, isn't it, eh? Look at that. That's going to collapse in there at some point, isn't it? Old railway, all finished. Days long gone. I can imagine a steam train puffing and chuffing over there. Must have been a magical sound and sight and the smells. Oh, it's polluting. Oh, really? Yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah, I'm dying from it now. Crikey. A lot of pollution then. I'm dying from it now. Oh, but there's pollution now. Where's the really? Show me it then. Where is it? Where's this pollution? Where is it? Show me. Oh, yeah. it's, it's in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Oh, it's out there. In the middle of nowhere. Can't get to You can't check it yourself. It's always up with the atmosphere, so you can't go and check it. You know what I mean? Don't get me down that road. The walkways are a bit uh, flooded. There's a lovely little church up here. Let's go and have a look. Just been talking to the farmer down there. He owns... 3,000 acres around here. Wow. 3,000 acres. He's 82 and he's still potting around. Just shut the gate for him. Said, Do you want a hand? He was, uh, he said, No, I'm fine, thank you. What a good chin wag. He owns all the farms, all this around here. Wow. 3,000 acres. Bloody hell. I'm just walking back here this way. I think it's this way. 
I'm sure it was. Is it down here? I think I'm going back the right way. I'm sure I am. Beautiful little area, look, isn't it? Oh, I love, I love these little places. Meeting the locals, fabulous. We're lost now. I was going that way. Now I end up going that way. Now I'm going back this way. Uh, it's this way up here, I think. Follow that car, Rippers. I think it's down here. Look at this old dry stone walls, look. See how beautiful, isn't it? Went the wrong way, back to the canal down here. Oh, back on the canal at last, that's a stupid detour. I thought I'd get through here, but I can't. Oh. Oh, it's like a it's cold this morning. Fire's gone out. Oh, it's cold or misty. It might be a nice day. Lovely mist on the water down there. Oh, I'm freezing. <laughs> 